Speaker Gloria Arroyo hosts a thank you lunch with Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte, Ilocos Norte Governor Aimee Marcos, and some 150 lawmakers Monday. Arroyo called the meeting in a hotel in Quezon City to thank politicians who supported her bid for the speakership. Arroyo unseated Davao del Norte Representative Pantaleon Alvarez last week, minutes before President Rodrigo Duterte's State of the Nation address. Sara Duterte and Marcos both played crucial roles in Arroyo's rise as speaker. Sources say the presidential daughter used her regional party, Hugpong ng Pagbabago, and the Tapang at Malasakit Alliance to convince lawmakers to oust Alvarez. Sources also say Marcos, for her part, called lawmakers from the Solid North provinces to unseat Alvarez in a bid to remove her political rival, Ilocos Norte Representative Rodolfo Fariñas, as majority leader. Meantime, Governor Marcos campaigns to stop Fariñas from getting a leadership position in the lower chamber. A Cubicle representative, Rodel Batocabe, and Quezon City Winston Castello, both allied with Speaker Arroyo, say a manifesto is being passed among lawmakers expressing support for Fariñas to be retained as a majority leader. Fariñas held the position before the ouster of Davao del Norte representative Pantaleon Alvarez last week. Fariñas is embroiled in a political rivalry with Marcos. Fariñas and two other lawmakers launched an investigation into the alleged misuse of 66.45 million pesos worth of provincial tobacco funds to purchase vehicles. Marcos' family commands control over the Solid North provinces. She, along with Davao City Mayor Duterte, lobbied to unseat Alvarez and replace him with Arroyo. As of Monday, Camarines Sur Representative Rolando Andaya replaces Fariñas as majority leader. Liberal Party lawmakers claiming the House of Representatives minority team up with the left-leaning legislators from the Makabayan bloc in a bid to increase their numbers. Marikina Representative Miro Kimbo writes to Speaker Gloria Arroyo Monday, informing her that he and 14 lawmakers held a meeting where Kimbo was elected minority leader. Of the 15 lawmakers, 12 are from the LP, while three are from the Makabayan bloc. In the same letter, Kimbo tells Arroyo that seven more legislators are joining the minority bloc. The LP lawmakers now say they have 22 members. Lawmakers jostle to be in the minority bloc because duly recognized minority legislators are given membership slots in all committees. PNP Chief Director General Oscar Albayalde orders the manhunt for four leftist leaders. The arrest order stems from a case filed against the four leaders 12 years ago. They were charged with conspiring to kill two people in 2003 and 2004, respectively. The four are Satura Campo, former Bayan Muna representative, Teddy Casino, former Bayan Muna representative, Rafael Mariano, former Agrarian Reform Secretary under the Duterte administration, and ex Anakpawis representative, Lisa Massa, current Secretary of the National Anti-Poverty Commission, and former Gabriela representative. The arrest order, dated July 11, 2018, was issued by a court in Nueva Ecija. The judge did not recommend bail. The Criminal Investigation and Detection Group is the PNP's unit tasked to investigate and arrest high-profile criminals tapped only in exceptional cases. Opposition Senator Sonny Trillanes is set to file a plunder complaint against former Tourism Secretary Wanda Teo and her brothers Ben and Erwin Tulfo. The three failed to return 60 million pesos in the controversial deal between the Department of Tourism, or DOT, and their production company. He adds that the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee should determine the magnitude of corruption, specifically how much more of the people's money was squandered by the previous DOT leadership. Ben Tulfo says they will not return the 60 million pesos, even as his sister's lawyer, Ferdinand Pasho earlier said they would. Ben says... To those saying we should return the money and who are waiting for the 60 million pesos, your eyes will just turn white. We won't return anything. Malacanang says Ben Tulfo's refusal to return 60 million pesos his media company earned from the DOT ad placements will not affect the Office of the Ombudsman's probe into the controversy. Fans of Korean actor Nam Joo Hyuk criticized fellow Filipino fans who were seen on video inappropriately touching the star on stage during the Pen Shop fan con. Clips from the Pen Shop live stream posted online show fans touching, hugging, and even pulling an unguarded Joo Hyuk when they were allowed to come on stage for a photo opportunity with him. 
Host had to step in and remind the fans not to touch Joo Hyuk and to respect his personal space. The clips immediately went viral on Twitter and Joo Hyuk's fans criticized the girls in the video for disrespecting the actors, saying that some of their touches were bordering on sexual harassment. Some point out that one of the fans accidentally pushed Sandara Park, who was with Joo Hyuk, on stage. Joo Hyuk and Sandara were in the Philippines for Pen Shop's 2018 FanCon. Mm-hmm.